The inner casing, in which the actual Dalek mutant resided, also held a life support system and a battle computer for strategic and tactical knowledge. The Dalek mutant operated the casings manually. Once removed, other life forms could pilot one if they could fit within. TV. The Daleks, the Space Museum, the witch is familiar. If the interior of the Dalek sustained damage, floating eyeball-like Dalek antibodies would explore the damaged area and eliminate the threat by reducing it to a fine powder. The antibodies would then harvest the ashen remains of the threat, and send them into a feeding tube for the creature to feed off the protein. TV. Into the Dalek. Inside a Dalek was an artificial cortex vault, a memory bank, that kept the Dalek's hatred pure. According to the Twelfth Doctor, the cortex vault extinguished the tiniest glimmer of kindness compassion. The Dalekinium transport shell did this to all the Daleks on purpose, suppressing any memories that might lead the Daleks away from the purity that Davros had envisioned for them. If the cortex vault was broken, it was believed the Dalek could in fact learn positive emotions like friendship and kindness. However, Rusty, a Dalek the Doctor tried to save from the hate-filled ideology, did not grow to have kindness. Instead, Rusty simply embraced hating the Daleks after seeing the Time Lord's hate. TV. Into the Dalek. When they reunited, Rusty still showed no signs of compassion and only helped the Doctor after learning it could hurt the Daleks. TV. Twice upon a time. 